I had a leak in my house. I rang the water company, firstly because my water bills were really, really high. In fact, so high it could be a 20 bedroom hotel. So I rang the water company and said, these bills are way too high. And they said, being very, very helpful, I think you've got a leak. But you'll have to deal with it yourself. You'll have to go out, investigate the leak, find out where it is, and fix it. Was the lovely lady on the end of the phone right or wrong? In the first instance, she's actually right. And the reason that she's right is that strange historical laws say that even though the water board are channeling water to your property, when it gets to your boundary, it's not their responsibility thereafter. So in the first instance, they're allowed to make the assumption that the water leak has happened within your boundary. Therefore, you've got to go and investigate it. If when you investigate it, you find that the water leak happened outside the boundary, it means that they've got to fix that. But if it happened inside the boundary, you've got to fix it. Now, this is a bizarre law. It's a bizarre law because the fact of the matter is, if I turn around to the water board and say, I don't want water anymore, so please cut me off, I'm going to dig down, cut the pipes out, and I'm going to use the pipes in my boundary for something else. They would say, sorry, no you're not, they're our property. But yet on the other hand, if their property leaks, or, there's, or it's faulty, they won't fix it. So it's a bizarre law. It's a bizarre law that actually has been causing problems for many, many years, and that does need to be changed eventually. And sites like you and the rights.com will be pushing things to try and change that. Because if this happens to you, and your insurance company won't pay out, although they probably will, but if they don't, and sometimes they don't, it's very, very costly. And you'll be glad that there's people out there trying to campaign about it.